Well, if you treated a child with suspicious injuries, then doctor-patient privilege goes out the window. I've never met the child. I'm a psychiatrist. I'm treating the mother for postpartum depression. And how old is the child? A year. Janice called me this morning, enraged. She was giving April a bath, and she said that no matter how hard she scrubbed, she couldn't get the filthy slut clean. The baby was screaming. The mother's name and address? Janice Donovan, 182 14th Street. I'm Dr. Anna Young. This is my card. Would you call me and let me know what happens? Janice! Crib's empty! Hello? Janice? No, I'm her neighbor. What's going on? What's your name? Bev. Dr. Young told us that she never met the baby. Why is she holding her? I don't know who Dr. Young is, but that's not the woman in the photo. Her name's not Anna Young, and she's not a psychiatrist. Must be some kind of whack job. License says she's Janice Donovan. DMV's got no 07 Honda registered to her. Then who's Dr. Anna Young? Can't find anybody by that name. I knew there was something hinky about her. It was so obvious. The superpowers come with that promotion. Dr. Anna Young, hello. Anna Freud, Carl Young, real clever alias. Yeah, no corrective lens restrictions on her license either. Her glasses were fake, too. I'm running the address off the business card. Office of Dr. Henry Carlisle, psychoanalyst. Is she a patient of yours? Sorry, I'm not at liberty to say. He just did. Confidentiality only applies to patients. You need to help us find her. We're afraid that she's going to hurt her baby. If I believe she was a danger to herself or others... You'd be able to talk. I guarantee you she's lost Look, it. We know that you're treating her for postpartum depression. What would make you think that? Janice is one of our top arachnologists. We were lucky to steal her from Penn. Spider lady. Huh? Nobody mentioned that. I'm not surprised. She's not very comfortable around people. A lot like her friend the Luxosceles reclusa, the brown recluse. Do you have any idea why Janice didn't show up for work today? As far as I know, she did. She's here. No, she's out in the field somewhere collecting specimens. She's about milk the ones we have dry. Could cure heart fibrillations, diabetes. Sir, we just need to know where Janice could be. I'll get you her favorite hotspots. No sign of her. Hey, Liv. Caves are on the list of the hotspots. Janice? Put your hands up where I can see them. It's empty. Where's April? What? I want to go home. You're not going anywhere until you tell us where your baby is. I already told you I don't have a baby. I'm only six. Okay, enough. Janice. My name is not Janice. It's Tammy. All right, Tammy. Listen to me. Now, did you give April to a man? No. He just took her. What's his name? Tammy, what's his name? And where did Bert take her? I don't know. Come on. For real. Enough. 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 I've had enough of your games. You're going to prison for murder. You! Tammy, let's sit back down. Let's for sit back down. You! Get out of my face! I want a lawyer! From what you're telling me, she has dissociative identity disorder, or what we used to call multiple personalities. Right, and I call it a croc. You know, you're not alone. There's a huge divide in the psychiatric community. So what do you think? I think it's overdiagnosed, but in the genuine cases that I've seen, it's almost always the result of long-term childhood sexual abuse. Was she a victim? Who knows? Is that going to help us find her daughter? It could. Tell me about her alters. Her alternate personalities? Uh, so far, we've seen a shrink, a little girl, and a tough Russian. And I bet she doesn't mean Christopher Walken, too. Look, she's playing us. Not necessarily. When a child is repeatedly abused, she can detach and imagine that it's happening to someone else. Additional personalities are created as needed to cope with the trauma. You're, you're making a bad decision. I strenuously urge you to reconsider. Who are you? I'm Detective Benson. Who are you? I'm Dory. Would you please tell this a-hole that I didn't do anything wrong? You're fired. You invoked your right to counsel. You're still my client until you legally waive that right. Bye-bye, butthead. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, oh. butthead. And as you listen, you sink deeper and deeper into pleasurable relaxation. And you realize...
realize it would feel so good to let Bert talk to us now, wouldn't it? Hmm. No! I need some help in here! No! April is gone and she's never coming back! No! No! You people have made a terrible mistake. April's fine. You're gonna have to come up a little bit more than that to claim the reward for the missing baby. She's at my apartment. I've been with her all day. And who are you? Cass Magnol. I'm April's mother. Our shrink seems to think Janice was abused as a child. Any truth to that? I don't know. She was 16 when she left home. I was only six. Were you abused? Yeah. You ever tell Janice that? The night Janice ran away, he dragged me around the house by my hair, demanding to know where she went. I didn't know, and he didn't believe me. He made me drink hot sauce until I threw up. Where was your mother? She was there, in the room, watching. She never said a word. Even when he started raping me. I begged her to help me, but she didn't. No one did. Turn it off. there like that. Can you guarantee that she's not going to get worse? I think she's on the road to recovery. Look at her. She's never had a relationship with her sister before. I think she can help Janice finally confront the abuse, which should lead her to the integration of her fractured personalities. Let her go home with her sister. The victims are Francis and Molly Donovan. We met their daughters yesterday. I wondered why they called you guys in. No sex crime. Gunshot wounds to the chest. We need ballistics to confirm that? Should be easy. Perp left the murder weapon. You can still smell the cordite. Mom's eyes are closed. She caught it in her sleep. Dad woke up to the blast just in time to see the killer. We both know who did this. Your Honor, my client wasn't at the scene of the crime. It's funny. Her bloody fingerprints were all over it. Oh, her body was there, but she was an innocent bystander. I'm confused, Mr. Horowitz. She's the only person being charged with this crime. They're distinct individuals, one of whom committed the crime without her knowledge. You can't punish the host for what the altar did. We can't just blindly accept Janice was unaware of her actions based on her word. Otherwise, every murderer is going to use his defense. I didn't kill my parents. What's the last thing you remember from the night your parents were murdered? Talking to my sister. And then what? Waking up in the hospital. That's convenient. No, it's not. It's horrible losing time like that. Do you remember this? From my childhood. Do you remember taking that gun and walking into your parents' bedroom and aiming it at your mother? No. Do you remember shooting her and then your father? No. OK, what about this? Does this bring back any memories? Please stop. A lot of details to forget, Janice. You don't remember any of this? Leave her alone! Hold on, officers! Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Get her out of here! Leave her alone! DA flops, killer walks. This one for my scrapbook. Well, at least it wasn't an acquittal. May as well have been. Not guilty by reason of insanity. Only keeps her locked up until she convinces them that she's sane. Southern California Interdisciplinary Law Journal, spring 2001. Congratulations, Janice. On what? Your brilliant performances, Dr. Young, Petra, Tammy. My personal favorite was Dory. Oh, and who could forget Bert? I don't know what you're talking about. Memory loss? Yours? Your computers? See, luckily, our techs were able to restore the research that you deleted on multiple personalities. I was good, wasn't I? Janice caught you in my web. I'm starting to feel integrated. I guess I'll be getting out of here pretty soon. Shut up, Janice. It's OK, Cass. Double Jeopardy's attached. There's nothing they can do to me. 
Cass Magnell, you are under arrest for the murders of Francis and Molly Donovan. What? No, I didn't shoot them. She wasn't even there. It doesn't matter. You conspired together. And under the law, that makes her as guilty as you are. We might as well have pulled the trigger together. We were abused. You have no idea what that's like. Cass! You were suffering from bed.